All right, so today what we're going to do for the last step of the project, um, you have a couple of options. So your first option is once you get your styrofoam drawing done, which is what you see here, um, you can either come to the school. Um, I have it set, uh, let's see, Friday, February 12th. I didn't think I was going to be able to have anybody here, but if you want to come and do prints from 8.30 until 11.30, it's not going to take you three hours to do prints. It's going to take you about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe, um, to do a couple of prints. I have the paper. I have the ink. Um, you just bring your styrofoam print, and we can print it, and then you'll be done. Um, so that's one option. Um, if you don't want, can't come February 12th, um, I have it set to come, uh, for y'all to come on February 19th. Um, and that day, you can come anywhere from 8.30 until 3 o'clock uh, to do your prints, or if um, if that doesn't work, please email me and maybe we can set up a time after school for you to come up here. So um, if you choose to come to school, I'm going to show you this option. You also, if you don't want to come to school, if you're not comfortable with that, you have a couple of options you can do. Um, you can get some different colored uh, paper. Um, it can be just plain printing copy paper or it can be block printing paper, which is what this is. So it's one color on one side and then white on the back. So, um, so I have a, a orange, a red, and then I have this kind of craft paper brown. Um, this looks good with just about any ink color, so um, that's why I'm doing that. Um, so I have these three, but you can also, um, if you don't want to come to school, you can buy, it's called Block Printing Ink. This is just the brand name, Blick. Uh, this is a company that we use for just about... Uh, all of the art supplies that I get. It's a very good company. Water soluble is very important because um, that means it can clean up easily with water. Um, if it does get on your clothes, uh, if you're doing it at home, I would probably recommend uh, wearing an apron that you don't mind getting, uh, or clothes that you don't mind getting dirty, um, or if you're coming up here to do that. But if you want to, if you don't want to come to school, you can go buy block printing ink from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe Speedball, S-P-E-E-D-B-A-L-L, -L, is a brand of block printing ink. So you can buy that at Hobby Lobby or at Michaels. And then you're also going to need what's called a brayer. It is a rubber uh, roller uh, on, on wood here. And that's what you're going to use to roll the ink across your image. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. But uh, the brayers can get kind of expensive. But if you don't want to get a rubberized one, if you can't find one, um, uh, a good sale uh, you can get a foam roller now keep in mind with a foam roller it is made with a sponge so that ink is going to set is going to um, soak into that sponge so when you're running it across here the more you press down the more ink may go into these areas that you don't want <coughs> excuse me so if you um, you can probably find a brayer for about five dollars the ink is going to be about five dollars if you've paid your class fee there i mean there's really no need to go to go to the store to buy that um usually on a friday there's not very many students in here and with y'all coming in uh, 30 to 40 minute uh, increments there's not going to be that many people here my room is really large so we can all spread out so you won't have to be standing right next to someone um, and of course we all wear our mask and that sort of thing um, but I'm going to show you how to do the print. Um, if you don't, oh, let me back up. If you don't want to buy block printing ink, if you have acrylic paint at your house, it will work as well. But keep in mind, you are going to need a roller of some kind because if you paint it on there, it's still going to sit in those areas that you don't want it to. So um, you're going to need a roller of some sort, okay? Um, so if you're just buying the brayer, that's not a very expensive purchase. Um, if after you're done with it, if you would like to donate it to the art room, you're more than welcome to do so. If that's the only thing you're going to be using it for. Uh, they do make smaller brayers. Here's a smaller one. Uh, this one is about a uh, two and a half inch. This one is about a four inch here. So, um, so they do make smaller ones. Of course, the smaller ones are going to be a little less expensive. So that's, this will work as well. So if you don't want to get the larger one, this one will work as well. Okay. Um, but I do want to show you how to do it. The process is the same, whether you use acrylic ink or block printing ink. 
You will notice a difference uh, if you use block printing ink. It's much thicker and um, much uh, easier to roll onto the brayer. So I have two colors that I've put into a tray. I have this purple and then I also have this green. So I'm going to do the purple first because I'm gonna do that onto the red paper. So I'm gonna move my, my uh, styrofoam plate out of the uh, camera view for just a second. I'm gonna roll into this ink. You can kind of hear it making a little sticky sound. Um, that's just the ink itself. Um, you might not can tell on camera, but when this ink, it's kind of like the ink has to get warmed up. If th that's the best term that I can figure out to describe it. You can kind of see this block printing ink here. I mean, this ink on the tray here has gotten a little bit more shiny, which means that it is, um, it is warmed up. So I'm gonna move that out of the way for just a second. I still may need it, but I'm gonna move it out of the way for just a second. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll this ink onto my stamp, my styrofoam plate, okay? Now, I'm not trying to press it down into those areas, uh, those recessed areas when I'm rolling this on, but it may get in there and that's okay. I don't know if y'all remember me talking earlier on in our video series we've done that uh, it may get into the areas that sink sink down and sometimes that creates kind of an interesting picture so you can see on uh, this bottom right side corner it's a little bit thinner in this area right here so I'm gonna roll some more ink on and I'm gonna roll the ink onto here and I want to make sure that it's covered really well because you want an even coat across the top of it okay if you get a foam roller, remember it's gonna that foam is gonna press down and it's gonna push into those grooves, and that's what you don't want. So I'm gonna pick this up, I'm gonna move my red paper into view, and then I'm going to flip this over, trying not to touch the ink side, although I have gotten some ink on my hand. I'm gonna press it down, and then I'm going to use my hand. Sorry for the camera shaking. I'm gonna use my hands to rub over the top of it. Um, some students used a uh, paper towel um, and that's fine. You don't have to leave it sitting on there. It does um, set up pretty quick and now you can peel it off. And there is my print. I'm going to turn it upside down. So there is my print there. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Now I'm going to do another print. I'm going to do the purple on the on the brown so that I can uh, I don't have to wash this plate. And then I'm going to stop the video and I'll do another one for you to show you the green. But uh, I do need to put more ink on this purple uh, for the purple to print again. So I'm going to roll my my brayer in my ink, and you can hear it in the background here. I'm rolling it on top. Now I'm showing you the process even if you're coming to school to do it, just so you will know what to do when you get here. So, um, but if you're doing this at home, like I said, if you're doing it with acrylic ink or if you bought some block printing ink um, and a roller, you can do this at home. Um, acrylic, uh, some of the acrylic paint is a little bit thicker than others. Like I had, I had the students use um, as a practice print, red, blue, and black. And actually, the, uh, the blue was the best prints out of all of them. So, okay, so I got a little paint down here in my corner, so I'm going to flip it over so I have a clean sheet. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it over, trying not to touch the edges. Again, I'm going to press it down. You don't have to hit it that doesn't do anything you're just trying to rub some of that ink off of there I'm kind of just making a fist here and rubbing it off again you don't have to leave it it doesn't take that long to set uh, sometimes the longer you leave it the more um, uh, the more the paper gets wet and then it tends to rip the paper so so that are those are my two there's my purple and red, which is a good color combination. And then there's my purple and brown. Like I said, this brown craft paper is a really nice sturdy paper. I have that here at school. 
Um, if you come to print, um, it makes it all of the ink that I have, with the exception of gold, look great on it. So, um, so you can do that. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go wash my plate. Um, and to wash it, you just need a mixture of hot and cold water. You don't need any soap. You just put your hand under it, underneath the faucet and rub it, kind of get it off of there real easy. And then uh, make sure it's really dry uh, because if any water is on here, when you go to put the next ink color on, it's going to make this ink color thin down and then it's not gonna be as effective. So I'm gonna wash this and then I'm gonna start the next video.